Good morning, guys. It is currently 9.30 in the morning. I realize my skin might look a little weird. If it looks a little darker to you, put some self-tanner on. I'm gonna fix it a little bit later. I rinsed it off last night. I didn't sleep with it on. I only had it on for two hours, but yeah. And I also washed my face so my skin looks a little irritated. Anyways, I have just been so overwhelmed recently with family and school stuff that I just need a day to just chill, relax, and just treat myself. I wanna feel confident again. I wanna feel pretty again. So, I figured I'd take you guys along with me on this journey. My school is actually closed because of the coronavirus, so all my classes are online until next month. So, that's gonna be pretty exciting. I basically have like an extra month long with spring break. I love that for me, but yeah, let's do some things to make me feel pretty and confident today. I actually wanna do some like at home workouts. Ah, oh my God, my thing, let me, you guys are sitting on my dresser. Hold on, let me show you what just happened. So this whole thing just like, oh, there goes my DS. This whole thing just kind of like snapped, so that's fun. Anyways, I'll fix that later. I have this thing. This is a band. It's meant for workouts. It's so cute. It says peachy on it and sculpt for your butt. So I'm just going to do my workout with this band because when I go to the gym, you can just do it at home in the comfort of your room, right? So we're going to do that. It'll make me feel toned. It'll make me feel like fit again. And we love to feel fit. So I'll show you guys how I use this. I do want to do an updated also workout routine for you guys. I've done a lot of new workouts recently, so... I mean, if you want to see that as well, but let's get started. I'm going to move my whole ass couch out of the way so I have space in my room. All right. I need to put my hair up first before we do anything. Okay, so I'm going to start out probably with a little bit of cardio, then go into legs, hips, and some abs. Okay, welcome to Sarah's gym class. Alexa, play top hits. Here's a popular station. Today's hits on Amazon Music. I'm looking at my calendar and I realize I can just whoop no more goodbye now that I'm all gross and smelly from working out I think I'm going to take a bath to just chill unwind and exfoliate so that way when I get out of the bath I'll have a clean body to put self tanner on and then let all just rinse it off again but I need to wash my hair feels kind of gross um, so we're gonna do that let's go set up a bath a lot of you guys ask me what I use in my hair to get it so soft and straight. And basically, I use any like shampoo or conditioner from the brand OGX. I think it's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. But right now, I've been using their Argan Oil and Moroccan Oil Conditioner and Shampoo. <laughs> I just got out of the shower, as you can see, my hair is wet, so duh. Um, I put a couple products in my hair. I put this OGX coconut milk in there. Then I also put this Dry Bar Prep Rally Detangler Spray in my hair. It helps just keep my hair smooth. But now I need to moisturize my whole body and my face because I learned the hard way you need to moisturize and put lotion on before you self tan because if you don't put lotion on places where your body is very dry, the self tanner will stick there and be darker. And that's how your hands and your knuckles get darker. You can see my knuckles a little bit darker. Yeah, so we're gonna moisturize really quick and then put some self tanner stuff on. I'll show you guys everything that I use. I have this like little cubby right here. Organized it in another video. Oops, I didn't mean to pull it out of the way. This is a tanning mat I got from Ulta for literally like six bucks. It's from Samori. I think is how you pronounce it. I also have their tanning lotion. It's a gradual tan. I've used this, but I find that 
The color is more um, greeny, yellowy toned. It's not quite what I like, and also it takes up to like three days to use. And if you want a really good tan, this will not do it. It's more of just like a natural look. But I use this. This I got from Target for like 12 bucks, I think. 16 maybe. This is the Tanologist Tan Express in dark. And this stuff is amazing though. It is a spray. That's the only thing. But I just spray it onto the mitt and then put it everywhere. And you can use this on your face too. You guys are literally sitting on a pair of shoes. But I'm going to be putting lotion on. I don't know if you guys need to see this, but... It's warm vanilla from Bath and Body Works. Make sure you literally get underneath your leg, on your knees, and especially like on your feet because that can get dry too. Also, when you before you tan, shave your legs and exfoliate them because it can kind of keep your legs from getting tan. I don't know why, but I find that my tanners don't tan my lower half of my body as much as it does my upper. I don't know why. Anybody else have that issue? You can probably tell I changed into a sports bra, so it's made much easier for me. But I did put moisturizer on my face. I just use the moisturizer I would normally use for like skincare stuff. But I'm going to be starting off with my legs because they are the most pale right now. And the rest of my body is actually not that bad. I literally have just learned to spray it on the mitt because when I spray it on the mitt, it's more likely to get in areas that I want. Instead of if I just spray it, I could totally, I don't know how to explain it. It's just easier to spray on this mitt. It has a scent to it. It's not the worst, but it's not the best either. It does smell good. More like a perfume that just kind of lingers. I just finished putting tanner on on my face. My face is now sticky. I did my whole body. I did my back myself because my mom left. So I'm scared how that's going to turn out, but I think we should be fine. I'm going to do some whitening strips now on my teeth so they can be pearly white. I just brushed my teeth as well. I think these are like an hour one, but I'm only gonna leave them on for like, no, these are 30 minutes. Cool, I was gonna only leave them on for like 20 because my teeth can get sensitive with these. I love these new strips because they're the no slip ones. That just sounds sticky. <laughs> oh, I'm also leaving my tan on for like, I'm leaving my face on for two and a half hours and my body for three and a half. <laughs> I sound so funny. It's funny. I realize I have changed about five times already in this video. I'm actually in really cozy pajamas right now because I don't want Tanner getting on my bed or anything. So I actually look cute. I'm going to show you guys what I look like. And I think I'm also going to make myself some hot chocolate and just sit in bed for a couple hours till this tan sets in because I am just tired and I want to chill. I'm going to see my friends later. So these are my PJs. I have a Kelsey Fullerton sweatshirt on and Kelsey Fullerton pants on. I mean, I can't go to school, but I act like I still am attending university, which I am just online, but let's go make some hot chocolate. Now that I got my hot chocolate, I'm gonna be sitting in bed watching RuPaul's Drag Race because I've been obsessed with that recently. So that is what I'm gonna be doing while this tan sets. All right, it is currently three o'clock now. I washed off my tan. As you can see, I am way darker. I think I look way darker, at least in person. I look way darker. My face is a decent color. My stomach and chest is a little bit darker, which is what I like. I don't need my face to be super dark, you know what I'm saying? So. Now what we're gonna do, I think I'm gonna get ready, put a little bit of makeup on because I'm gonna go hang out with my friends in like an hour or two, so let's get ready. And I have some sunglasses I got from this company that are super freaking cute, I wanna show you guys. Is it just me or do you feel so much hotter with a tan? Because now that I'm not pale anymore, I literally feel so pretty like I don't need makeup or so I'm gonna put some on. I think I'm just gonna put some moisturizer on and then a little bit of like BB cream and some powder and mascara. All right, Glossier. Perfecting skin tint. I'm just putting this underneath my eyes. We're gonna put some powder around the eyes just to set everything. And then I'm just gonna put some of this powder all over my face. Now some mascara. Lashes are done. I'm just gonna put some brow product in my eyebrows with the boy brow from Glossier. And then I'm gonna use our lip gloss and then probably call it done. Beautiful! Oh my god. I feel so pretty. Stop. 
Sorry, I'm feeling myself. I, okay. <laughs> so these sunglasses are from the company Sojo's, I think. I don't know how to pronounce it. So sorry about that, but I have them linked in the description. I think that they're so beautiful. Comes in a box like this. You open it up, and it has this like really nice leather black case, and it comes with a cleaning wipe for your lens, and then inside there are these. Look how beautiful. These might be too big for my face, but you know, it's okay. Who is she? She's a bad bitch. I also have these ones. These are my favorite ones. Hold up. Look at these sunglasses. They're like this leopard print with pink and has brown lens. I just, I love these. I feel like a mom, but like a bougie mom. I love these. These might be my new favorite sunglasses ever. We have two more. I believe we have like reading glasses and then we have one more sunglass option. These are the ones that are exactly like my previous ones, but they're in like this brown leopard one. And I like these as well. I just don't think I like how round the lens are. The other ones are more like open and bigger. So these don't quite look as good on my face, but I do really enjoy these. These could be like a cute Instagram moment. Like, ooh. And then the last ones came in this box. This is like their little eyeglasses. And these are blue light protected. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that in the reflective light, but these are just black glasses. I got these because they look similar to my actual glasses that I wear when I don't wear contacts. And they are gonna help me with blue light. Oh my God. Whoa, I look smart. Hello. Who is she? I actually really like these on my face. And just to put it out there, I do have an affiliate link and I will be getting commission if you guys purchase from me, but that just helps you and helps me. There's no pressure on actually buying anything, but I do think that these are amazing glasses. These are the Polarized Moment glasses. They are 30 bucks and they come in like five other different colors. These are the Amy glasses and they have three other different colors and they are $44.99. These are the Stay Curious glasses and they have another color which is like the Cheetah one and these are $40. And then these are, and then these are the Galaxy glasses. They have these in like five other different colors as well and these are $30. All right, so I chose an outfit I'm kind of feeling myself in. I went with my favorite sunglasses. I'll show you guys the outfit. I'm gonna be wearing a sweatshirt probably on top of it. Just because it is cold outside, it is overcast, but I feel confident in this. So, I, I mean, I feel good, I feel happy. So, I'll show you guys the outfits and I'm probably gonna put a sweatshirt on and go head out to my friends. This is my fit. I would never wear an outfit out like this unless it was summertime and I was going somewhere fun. I'm probably not even gonna wear this out, but this is just an outfit that makes me feel confident in myself. So, these jeans are from PacSun. My top is from Crybaby. These are the sunglasses I just showed you guys. Link in the description. I feel good about myself. And this is something that just makes me confident. Probably not going to wear it out later today. But I figured I'd show you guys what makes me feel confident. So we all have our different versions of that. And yeah, I'm probably going to put a switch on later. But I feel good. <laughs> Missing someone.